Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high Be kind Sounds like a command to me The Apostle Paul tells us To put on then as God's chosen ones holy and beloved, put on compassionate hearts and kindness. Be kind. That is a choice. And that means it doesn't depend on the other person. It depends upon me. I want to be like Christ. I want to please God. So it doesn't matter what the other person has done. I choose to be kind. But if I'm going to obey that command, I need to understand and define what it means to be kind. And there's two aspects of this. Uh, kindness involves acts of mercy and acts of generosity. If somebody has done something inappropriate, I can be merciful to them. The Bible says that I need to forbear. I need to forgive. On the other hand, it may be that they haven't done anything and they may not be in any desperate situation, but can I just choose an act of generosity to be positive and kind towards all that I meet? So we understand what it means to be kind, but I want you to think about kindness, N-E-S-S, -S, kindness that this is more than an act, it's a quality. It's more than a quality, it is a condition. It's in your spiritual DNA. It is deeply embedded in you. So if we're going to make this an integral part of our daily lives, what's it going to require? What's it gonna take? Well, I, I wanna suggest some goals for you. If I don't do anything else today, I will listen the most. It is unkind to interrupt. It's unkind to dominate the conversation. Be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. I will listen the most. And I'm going to think the best. You know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and verse 7, it tells us love bears all things and love believes all things, assumes a positive intent. So I'm not going to judge, but instead I give people the benefit of the doubt. I will listen the most and I will think the best and I'm going to speak the good. It's not just that I want to limit my speech and listen more, but when I do speak, what am I going to say? I can criticize if I please, but why not just put that away? Criticism in most instances is not kind. And so instead, I need to speak those things that edify, those things that impart grace, those things that build people up. I'm going to listen the most. I'm going to think the best. I'm going to speak the good. And I am going to serve the least, the least of these. Jesus said, if you do it unto the least of these, my brethren, you've done it unto me. And so I'm going to refuse to ignore people. And when I have those situations where I feel this warm-hearted impulse, I will not ignore it. I will not delay, but instead I'll seize it. And I will become a kinder person. If we're going to be kind, it's going to take several things in our lives. We're going to need to be patient. 
Love is patient and kind. You can't be kind without being patient, and you can't be patient without being kind. They go together. And one of the problems in our life is we're just in such a big hurry that it makes us irritable. Irritability is not kind. So I need to slow down and take time for my spouse, take time for my children, take time for my neighbor. Be patient. You'll be kinder. And be courteous. Incivility is a great problem in our society. And I, I, I've got to be careful that I don't treat you with incivility. I need to think about what I say and what I do so that it will show respect. Don't treat others with indignity. Recognize their human dignity. Recognize that they're created in the image of God. So I, I, I don't want to be insensitive. I don't want to be uncivil. I don't want to be irritable. Those are not kind. And you know, you think about several instances in the Bible where people did those very things. Kindness is not harsh. It's not cruel. It's not malicious. But you think about some characters in the Bible like Cain. Was Cain kind? to his brother Abel. No, he was heartless and unfeeling. When I think about Cain, I remember his remark, am I my brother's keeper? There was a problem. I think about the priest and the Levite. Were the priest and the Levite kind when they passed by on the other side and left the man who was half dead without the aid that he needed? No, they were totally apathetic and indifferent was the older brother of the prodigal kind? He wasn't glad his brother was home, that his brother was safe. He didn't take part in the celebrations. He couldn't speak a civil word to him. He was not kind. But as Christians, we have a command. I hope it's one that you will choose to follow. Maybe one thing we need is to spend our our time with people who are kind. Choose positive people to be around. Evil companions corrupt good morals. And sometimes we can think it's just natural and normal for us to behave in ways that are selfish. No, 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 no. Spend time with God's people. That's what worship is all about. And the more time you spend in fellowship with Christ-like people, the more it affects you in a positive way. You raise the bar on your behavior, on your expectations of yourself. So pick some positive people to spend time with, including spending time in God's word around the positive people that we read about in the Bible. But also you need to be praying, praying daily, praying hard, because the fervent prayer of a righteous man and woman avails much. It is effectual. It will change you, and you can become a kinder person. You can become more like Christ. I hope that you enjoy your discussions tonight in our various Lyft teams. It's great to have this time in Bible study and in fellowship because what's happening is God's changing us to be more like his son, to be kinder. God bless. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross, my debt to pay, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high.